Hi everyone, welcome to the shack. Uh, this is the FT991 uh, and if you look carefully you can see that I've got GB3DI 77 repeater programmed in. Um, the DI repeater is run by Harwell Amateur Radio Society. Um, it's actually maintained, well operated and maintained by uh, members of the club. Uh, I don't know how long it's been around actually but for quite a long time. It doesn't get a lot of use, as I suppose is the situation with quite a lot of repeaters. And here at my home QTH, I really struggle uh, to open it um, with the current setup. As you can see, I'm using 50 watts. Um, and if I try to open it now, it isn't gonna work. No. So I'm putting 50 watts into my Diamond X300 collinear which is there which you've seen before um but it's just not high enough it's a great antenna but um it, it's how high the base of the antenna is probably four or five meters above the ground and it just goes to show that um uh that really height is very very important it's below even the top of the antenna maybe below the apex of the roof um However, there's a, there's a net, there's lots of uh, antenna pieces laying on the ground at the moment since my um, end fed wire for top band at 80 meters collapsed. So that's the, um, the diamond antenna. Um, and as I said, it's probably, the base of it's probably four or five meters above the ground. So what I've actually done is, um, I've taken a new uh, pole from Decathlon and at the top of it I've attached the newly repaired uh, coaxial collinear homebrew antenna that I tried to use uh, on the two meter simplex net uh, last weekend and uh, failed. Well it didn't fail completely but um, my signal wasn't getting out. I subsequently discovered there was a dry joint. The pole next to it is one of the support poles for my uh, end fed wire for top band that collapsed. That one's still in place. Um, oh. And so what I've really done is uh, extend it. That's a seven meter pole. So you can see that the top of the antenna now, well, the whole antenna is way above the apex of the roof. Uh, although there's two apexes to my roof, uh, but I'm sure it's above the roof entirely. Um, and I've literally cable tied it to uh, fittings on the, uh, on the window in one of my spare bedrooms. So as you can see, it's way higher than the uh, than the diamond um the diamond an antenna has gain it's got the down plane radials uh this is just a straight coaxial collinear it's, it's made from a single piece of um coax with the shielding uh cut away uh in uh uh at certain uh positions along along it to to create the um uh, the collinear so and i know i've just measured it actually with my analyzer and um it's just under two to one it's like one point nine to one which isn't actually fantastic but uh well that's what it was inside and i haven't measured it on the end of the uh where it is right now but uh, but anyway so there you go so 14 quid pole cable tied to the window now what i have got is my um i've got my bear thing attached to it right now so we're talking five watts probably less less than five watts um don't know if you can see that GB3DI programmed into it. So just a few watts. Give it a go. There you go. Come up. And I have actually just had a conversation with um, G0MJW uh, on the uh, DI repeater, which is located in uh, Chilton. Just, just, well, it's next door, lol, next door but one to the Diamond Light Centre, basically. So, getting in no problem with the bear thing with just a few watts. Um, so, it just goes to show that um, height makes such a huge difference. Um, get a better view of the Diamond antenna there. Um, so, there you go. So, I thought I'd share that with you. Um, 
problem now, of course, is that if it starts raining, the window's going to have to stay open and the net doesn't start for another two and a half hours. So I may have to take the thing down and then put it up, put it up again a bit nearer to time. But, um, but yeah, just goes to show that um, cheap fix can solve a problem. So there you go. What I'm, what I might, what I might do is, um, is temporarily move the uh, uh, FT nine nine one upstairs just to, um, to and, and then put, and then I can put fifty watts through it, and, and there's no issue basically. Uh, I might do that, but anyway, I thought I'd uh, share that with you. Um, and uh, actually, while I'm here, I might. suppose it would be worth checking the match so 145 Two. Right. Okay, let's see what happens. Bear with me. Right, so there you go, the match is two, two point one to one. Which isn't actually brilliant, but um uh I think the match I was using last week with the end with this antenna when it was broken was actually uh it was about nine to one or something crazy. So anyway, um, I'll give it a go, but um, it's not perfect. It needs adjusting, um, but uh, there you go. It works with very low power, which is the main thing. Okay, well, I thought I'd share that with you. Thanks for watching.